Alright guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to the vlog today. I don't even know what I'm gonna do today. I just, it's so nice and cool in here. And I think it's because of the curtains. I saw like the direct light's not coming in. I know there's a couple things I want to definitively do. I want to post the vlog today because I finished the vlog like two days ago. But I'm trying to put more emphasis and focus on like some titles and things of that nature. And trying to make sure that I give the video an opportunity. I just mean, give people a fair chance to decide if they want to watch it. So I feel like the thumbnails have gotten a little better, but I feel like the titles are not, they're not grabbing you guys, the audience attention enough. And I want to work at that. And I really want to work at that. I, I can promise you guys I'm trying my goal. I want to make sure that you guys actually want to tune in and watch these videos. And I hope that they're good. And I hope that you enjoy them. How do I grab other people that aren't subscribed to the channel? You know, I want to, to grow an audience here. This is just me sharing with you guys what I struggle with. I'm going to work and I'm going to make sure when I put it out, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if the title sucks. If the thumbnail sucks, don't be worried. I got pretty tough skin. I can take it if I'm asking. I want you guys' honest opinion. I'm cooking uh, these Longo steaks that Jess was insistent I don't buy. So they're certified Angus Eye of the Round steaks. That's what the package is. I got to show you guys how thick these are, but I have to cook them today. But also, too, I want to make some sandwiches because I got some uh, you know, deli roast smoked chicken. One of my favorites, onion buns. Come on, if you guys like onion buns, hit me with a thumbs up there. And then... I got my snack. Hopefully Jess doesn't watch this video. I have my choice of 50 counts, 100 counts, and 90 counts. This is my favorite mix. This has my favorite one, Hershey, and this has Mr. Big and Carol. These other two Wonder Bar and Crispy Crunch I could do without. Look at how fat this piece of meat is, bro. Look at that. Look how thick that is, boy. Jess told me I shouldn't cook these steaks because they're thick, they're too tough. How am I not gonna cook these? Like, look at how thick these are. Like, they look amazing, amazing. I'm not sure how, look, I'm not a world-class chef or anything like that. There's a good chance that these will take a bit of a beating, but nor, ow, this is why you don't vlog and cook when your hands are tired. So normally I just cook both sides and I'll throw some water in there so they don't burn. And then I season it a little bit, nothing crazy. And I just go from there and cook it to the point where I wanna consume it. So as I was telling you guys just a minute ago, I thought that the mic was on. The mic wasn't on, so I was two more clips recorded without audio. But the reason I'm here so early this morning is to write the produce order. Kevin's on holidays, so I'm gonna write it quickly. Then me and Jess are gonna return to rental. Then we're gonna go develop our pictures. We got a nice little day planned today. Jerry's gonna bring coffees. I don't even know what time he's actually gonna show up. He knew I was coming in this morning, but I still don't know what time he's gonna show up. So we'll see if he gets here early or if he gets here closer to when the store opens. Either way, it doesn't really matter to me, but always fresh. That's good stuff. Thank you, Jerry. Day is complete. Well, day has started, but my work day is complete. <laughs> now we go pick up Jess. We go return to rental. I don't know if we're going to go downtown just yet, but that's the plan to go downtown and get some pictures developed. She's got like six rolls of film, I think, that need to be developed. So we're going to get that developed today. It's supposed to be super nice outside, like 20 degrees or something like that. Right now it's about nine, which really isn't that warm. So if it's really that nice, I feel like we should just maybe hang out downtown, but we'll see. We'll see what she wants to do. And then otherwise do a podcast. I promised my mom that we would do a podcast and I keep flaking because just the days have just been like really brutal, really exhausting. So I want to keep my word and actually get a chance to do one with her and my sister. It's been four months since I did the last one, which is brutal because I never waited that long. Like I've gotten really bad. So I, you know, I've said it a couple times, but I want to get much better with the podcast like I did when I started. It only kind of took a nosedive when I started vlogging because I enjoy vlogging so much. But now I really need to make sure that I kind of balance 
consult the two of them and and that's been a challenge with having to work you know 55 60 hours a week i want to make sure that i do my absolute best to at least try so jess took off she went to return the car i am to follow and meet her i was rushing at first and she's like no don't rush just take your time but i'm ready I'm gonna leave get my bag on and then we're headed downtown and the weather is starting to turn around i don't know how actually how nice it is to be like walking downtown but we'll kind of gauge it and see and then if she wants to hang out downtown and walk around for a little bit i'm all for it might as well at, by, at the end of this week my work week is going to be ridiculous i'm not even off i just got the guy's schedule who's supposed to be helping me and it is like none of the days i actually need him so that kind of sucks which means some days are going to be double shifts it's going to be a a shit show see that they're just checking the car to make sure it's okay just is waiting i would imagine patiently possibly impatiently this is a hell of a patio yeah fuck you supposed to fit one one group out here Is this the way into the Eaton Center? Oh yeah. The washroom. I guess the goal. Keeps fucking texting. has got to figure out what's wrong they charged her or she thinks they overcharged her for her her photos finally made it to ikea to get a new computer chair or the same computer chair that i already previously had just your shadow looks so much smaller than mine <laughs> I got french fries and a chicken sandwich. I normally, I think last time I got the beef, right? Uh, but they're both, they're both gonna be good, so I'm so hungry. This is the noisiest intersection I've ever heard. People honking and, oh. So, <clears throat> we figured out the issue with Jess's pictures. When her brother bought the roll, he got, I don't know, he got her something with the roll where she would get a discount when she finally put the pictures in. So I guess when we were outside, she was looking at the receipt and she didn't see the deduction for that because in turn they would have owed her like five or six bucks, I think for like three or four per roll for like three or four rolls. So that's what she was trying to figure out. So she ended up figuring that out. Then we went to Ikea. When we finally decide to go, so this is the thing that annoys the life out of me. When we finally decide to go and say, okay, we're going to go in there. We're going to get the chair because Ikea is, they're not doing lines anymore. So they're back to regular people as of at least last week, Tuesday. You were able to just walk in. They're still clicking people and counting how many people were in there. But like they had it wide open. People were laying on beds, testing out furniture. We went in, we rushed through and we get to the end. Pictures got developed, didn't get a chair, still using the very first chair I bought from Ikea, which is super uncomfortable. Right now I have a pillow underneath it or like sitting on the, where you would rest your bottom. It's not padded, like it's really, really hard. Me and Jess decided we're just gonna order a chair off the internet, right? I'm not in a hurry to get it. Time frame in which it would take for it to get here, I don't really care about. Kind of successful getting the pictures developed. And actually a lot of the pictures turned out nice. Jess has them on her phone. I can't show you guys because I don't have them. They came out really, really nice. And it's like the pictures, remember I was telling you guys like there's months and months of photos. The pictures go back to like, I think Lloyd's birthday from even last year. So I was even way off. It goes back like a year uh, that Jess has had been you know shooting photos and hasn't developed them all in all hopefully you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching you like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace